Hey what is up guys, it's Joe here and today I want to show you how to clean your leather interior in your car. As some of you may have already noticed, I have a different car now and I wanted to give it a proper clean on the inside ever since I brought it last October, since I don't know whose filthy ass has me sat on it all this time. I've never done a proper leather cleaning session before so I'm kind of nervous about it. I've always used these spray on leather cleaners from Meguiar's or 3M and all these kind of just spray on and wipe type stuff. Uh, which to me doesn't feel like it's actually cleaning, it's more like just sealing in all the dirt into the leather instead. So anyway, I decided to try out these um, Autoglim leather cleaners. As I've found previously, their products tend to be quite mild, so hopefully uh, it won't damage my leather interior. Anyway, enough talking, let's get straight to it. First step, if there's lots of dirt on your seat, just give it a quick vacuum clean. Step number two, spray the Autoglim leather cleaner directly onto the leather surface and agitate it with a brush. But don't use too much force and make sure you give it a good, good old brushing between the gaps and stitching areas. Step number three, wipe the surface with a damp cloth turning frequently. What I did was use a bucket filled with warm water and kept on rinsing the cloth after a few wipes. This step takes quite a long time, I must say, as you keep on rinsing and wiping the cloth for like a million times for each section. I kept on doing it until there was no more soapy type stuff appearing on the leather when I wiped it over with the damp cloth. Step number four, let the surface dry naturally or you could wipe it with a dry cloth or a towel if you want to speed up the process, but it didn't take too long for mine to dry despite how wet the seat got after all the damp cloth wiping actions. The outside temperature was around 12 to 15 degrees in my case, so I didn't have to wait too long for the leather to dry naturally. Now before I continue with the rest of the car, I thought I'll show you guys what the different looks like before and after a simple clean. As you can already see before I take off the masking tape, the difference between the clean and dirty side is quite staggering and obvious. The clean side, which is the lighter coloured side in case you are confused, is so much softer and matte looking compared to the darker sticky glossy side. But we haven't got time to waste as there are plenty more areas to clean inside the car. After this, I didn't film any more of me cleaning as the same steps apply for all the other surfaces, which includes the front driver and passenger seats, the door side panels, both of the rear seats and side panels. All in all, the cleaning part alone took me around 7 hours to do, which is a lot of hard work I must say. It's definitely not as easy as it sounds, but it's definitely worth the effort as the results are simply astonishing! astonishing. So anyway, after a whole day of spraying, brushing, wiping, rinsing, multiplied by a billion times, the sun was going to sleep, so I quickly took a few shots of the dried leather surfaces. It's all nice and clean, soft and matte looking like it's brand new, but it's a little bit dry at the moment and hasn't got any products on it to moisturize the leather or to protect it from minor stains. Time for the Autoglim Leather Care Balm, which is step number 5 of this tutorial. I used a sponge to wipe the leather with because it spreads easier and any excess will be absorbed by the sponge again while I'm treating the surface. You seriously do not need a lot of this stuff. I put a small drop onto the sponge, folded it a few times and just spread it all over the now dried leather surface. As you can see, it immediately nourishes the surface. I did worry that this product might leave a glossy finish since I've never used it before. But reading the instructions at the back, it says that it can take up to 48 hours for the balm to cure and set. After I finish treating all the surfaces, uh, the sun is finally setting and there's no more light for me to use. The next morning I went out to check on the leather and to my amazement it does look less shiny, almost matte. There are a few ways you can help to minimize the shine by not using too much product in the first place, use the sponge to absorb the excess and you could use a towel or cloth to buff the leather with after you applied the balm. But I didn't need to do all these extra steps and it's looking awesome as it is. Here are some more shots after 2 days without any more buffing or anyone sitting on the seats to absorb the balm. As you can see it did indeed dry to a nice matte finish which is what I wanted because this makes it feel and look like it's brand new again. All in all it took me a whole day to do the inside including wiping the plastic, trim, vacuuming etc. But the results is exactly what I have hoped for and although it's hard work it's not difficult in any way if that makes sense. So I urge you to try it out if you have never done it before because the results are amazing making it feel so much nicer and brand new again. And the smell smells quite nice too. 
Of course, you don't have to do this extensive cleaning every single time you clean your interior, but once or twice a year wouldn't do much harm, or just whenever the seats, or in particular the steering wheel, starts to look shiny. Unless you want it to look shiny, which some of you may prefer. I'm not here to judge. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I encourage you to try and clean your leather interior if you have never done it before like me. My name is Joe and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.